Hello and welcome to uh, my channel. My name is Julie, also known as Plum Bobulus. You can't answer it. Um, sure, whatever. Uh, and <laughs> this is my medieval decades challenge. So I waited till the girls got home from school uh, to kind of show y'all some them but basically this is my current household outside of youtube i have very specifically not been playing it on youtube because i just did not want the pressure and while i've been resting up and recuperating from my fall that led to my broken ankle this has been a really nice break so that being said, let me introduce you to my Sims. So we we started out with our founder William. He's he's taking care of his kid right. Well, his his latest kid. He, these are all of his kids. Um, he's taking care. Of, this is William. Let me zoom in. He is currently a young adult Sim. He's a farmer. Uh, his, most of his crops are dormant right now. We're gonna uh, we're gonna harvest the onions because we need to uh, use these in food we use these as part of our medieval cooking uh so there's that he is a farmer he has previously been married to well actually let me get let me pull up the family tree for y'all okay we're on the family tree so as you can see, we have William Shaw here. He was born in 1382. The current year is, ah, there's spoilers. The current year is 1410. Okay, you didn't see any of that. Current year is 1410, it's 1382. It's been almost 30, he's almost 30. Um, when he turns 30, he'll be aging up into an adult adult if he lives. Um, basically, uh, I'm taking this challenge from morbid gamer i have a copy of her challenge set up etc etc from her channel and um whenever a sim ages up gives or gives birth or for certain other events you roll if they live or they die so this will this will make sense um his first wife alice we love Alice. We, we stand a queen. Um, she was born in 1384. They married when he was 18 and she was 16, as you know, sometimes they did back then. Um, and she died in 1404, unfortunately, uh, in, in childbirth. Uh, and yes, there, there will be, I'll add a trigger warning um, to the description as well, but there is a, a content warning for discussions of death in The Sims um, in, due to and also of children's death. Uh, I won't make it graphic or anything, but you should be aware if that's something that will upset you or trigger you. Maybe not the best video on my channel for you because it does happen a lot and I don't want to make light of that topic as it is a very serious one for a lot of people as it should be. Okay, that being said, Alice died in childbirth, but before she died, she gave birth first to Joan. Joan is currently still alive. She was born in 1400. Each of the like real life years, let's call them, is four sim days. So she was born in 14, the very end of 1400. Um, then Alice got pregnant with Isabel, who unfortunately died. Um, she was a stillborn. Uh, so Isabel never lived. Uh, she died as a baby. Uh, then Alice got pregnant with Margaret Mar and Catherine, actually. They were twins. Margaret survived. Um, so they were both born in 1402. Catherine, unfortunately, was too premature to survive. But Margaret is still alive, so she's a child along with Joan. Um, our fifth baby, fourth pregnancy, was Thomas. He did survive until it was time for him to age up to a toddler. And at that time, unfortunately, he died of an infection. Uh, and last but not least, we have Elizabeth Shaw. She was born in 1404, and as I'm sure you could have guessed, she, uh, Alice died uh, give, in the process of giving birth to Elizabeth. Um, so yeah, uh, and Elizabeth is the only blonde from the first three. Joan and Margaret both take a lot after Alice. But then, of course, uh, following the time period and also the need to have a male heir, William got remarried to Marjorie Shaw. She was born in 1388. She was, I want to say 17 or 18 when they got married. So a little bit older. And, um, 
they have been pumping out babies ever since, so to speak. Uh, so Marjorie uh, first gave birth to Anne in 1405, uh, followed by Sybil, Beatrice, and Matilda. And Beatrice just aged up in my game, which is why I don't have a picture for her on the family tree yet. It will be up soon. And I'll, I'll link this family tree below so that you guys can check it out if you'd like to and see some of the more details in here. And Marjorie is pregnant with her fifth pregnancy. And hopefully this will be the last one. Um, but we'll see. I just really want a male heir. You know, if you don't get one, it's fine. But I would like one. So yeah, this is the rough overview of the family tree. There are some more dynamics, however, that we're going to get into while they settle in. So this is Marjorie. She's, she's pregnant right now. She's an adult now. Why are you so angry? This is Margaret. She's taking a bath. Thankfully, you know, everything's covered, so we can't see anything. She looks a lot like her dead mother, but... They, so does so do actually really both of her sisters this is joan she's dressed for the weather she is definitely my favorite um she looks more like her mother in most things but she does take after her father a little bit and joan and margaret particularly they were toddlers when their uh father got remarried uh, about to be children so they were the ones who kind of knew Marjorie the best let's say or like had to deal with her the most no you're not gonna apologize and as a result they're really not um yeah let's provoke her why not I don't usually do mean interactions but it's kind of fun for the sake of the story so for the sake of the story, um, they don't like their stepmother. They are not fans of her. Elizabeth is more ambivalent. She's kind of like, whatever. But she was a baby when Marjorie and William got married. So she doesn't really have, I mean, she doesn't have any memories of her birth mother, unfortunately. Um, which is just too bad. What are you doing? I told you to... No, oh, I thought you were mean. I did not. Clean up, please. Um, yeah, go be mean. You're angry because <laughs> of school. Um, I did try to have them not go to school, but then they almost got taken away. So I was like, we're just gonna... We're just not gonna do that because I'll just have them go to school and, you know, pretend it's finishing. I don't know. Pretend they're going to see the church or something. I don't know. I'm just going with it. Oh, yeah, she's provoking. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I think, yeah, she's going. Okay, but yeah, so they don't like Marjorie. Marjorie also does not like them. They do not get along. So that being said, um, then we come to, and like I said, Elizabeth doesn't really feel any kind of way. Then we come to Anne. Anne is the firstborn of Marjorie and William. She's okay looking. She's not my favorite looking Sim, but it's more important that she's kind of a brat. Uh, she, she, when she aged up to being a toddler, the first thing she did was throw a temp temper tantrum. And you know, sometimes it's like that. Uh, they're getting into it. I love it. Uh, and she just is, tends to be a very angry toddler Sim. She's going to be aging up into a child tomorrow if she survives the death roll. So we'll see. We'll see if she lives on. I think it could be fun. Uh, to have some more antagonism and, you know, girls that are, like, the girls are fighting. No! Oh my gosh. These children love to get in my way and be annoying when it comes to their baby sister. Sister is really, um, Beatrice just aged up today, so I don't know as much about her. At any rate, so there's also Sybil. She's a very nice little girl. Um, we like Sybil. She's really cute. She's kind of, she's angelic and, uh, independent yeah so she kind of does her own thing she's on her own Beatrice I get the sense is going to be kind of the really innocent and sweet and naive one who's like why can't we just all get along and be friends but we'll see and yeah for right now that's kind of where the family is at and like I said we are almost we are in uh, what decade? Oh, yeah. We are in 1410. So it's been 10 sim years since I, st or 10, or like, quote, real life years since I started and about 42 sim days. No, we're not hanging out with you. Sorry. 
Uh, we sold you eggs once time, and now you think we're best friends. Okay, go to the bathroom, please. Go to the bathroom, and then take a bath. Thanks so much. Yeah, eat, please. Where are you? Oh, you're still angry. We're going to get rid of this. All right, and then this, this is my own personal game. I'm just playing it for fun, so I do things a little bit differently than I would in some of my other plays. Um... And they're all kind of mixed up down here. Don't ask me why. I think it's because the aging is off. Because for this challenge, you do need to have aging off if you want to do the aging system the way that um, Morbid Gamer does it. I'm going to bottle feed you because clearly you want to be fed. Uh, and then I'm going to have him come out here and super sell. Oh, I need to put the onions in the fridge. That's right. Okay, onions. Great, we have plenty to make a lot of good stuff to eat. Because I'm using this mod, this medieval cookbook mod, but some of the stuff, some of the meals, it actually requires you to have the uh, the required uh, ingredients before you can make it. Um, as you can see, we're actually doing really well for money. This is the second iteration of their house. Oh, that's a bright sun. I can show you what it looks like. It's kind of Tudor style, kind of medieval. Um, I figured since they've earned so much money, they'd be able to live a little bit more luxuriously, so to speak. So they have a little bit of a nicer house than they started out with. Still not super nice. I mean, it's still not anything exciting, you know, um, but it is, it's nicer than it was. And, but all of this money is going to be very important when it comes to getting their children married because the thing is oh my gosh what are you doing and oh my god Anne. okay uh, the thing is with when it comes to these kids they really need to well what was i saying oh i was gonna say when it comes to these kids they're all girls so uh, we don't have to get all of them married we're gonna roll to see if they get married or not this is you sleep. Elizabeth sleeps here. We're going to roll to see if they get married or not. Um, but if they do, we have to pay a dowry fee. Okay, you're going to check your toddler. That's fine. Um, like, as you can see, Marjorie's wearing like a nicer dress than um, you might expect from peasants. But I think that they've risen above, like, they've risen slightly above, like, dirt poor peasant status um and they can kind of afford to do other things now because of his success in farming and we also have well we might actually get a dairy cow soon we have chickens currently though so we might get a dairy cow in the spring i'll see where we're at we'll see but um yeah so they're gonna have to pay a dowry for each of their daughters uh joan is i would say as long as they survived a child they have a pretty good shot they have an 80 percent shot at making it to teen and once and once they're a few years in teen that's when they get married off and start families of their own so so joan elizabeth and um margaret i was doing that wrong. joan elizabeth and margaret are more than likely going to survive why are you this is not your bed um <laughs> What am I doing? No, I don't want you to sleep in there. I want you to assign bed. Okay, assign bed. This is Margaret's bed. Your bed is right here. Go sleep. Thank you. I don't know why she keeps doing it. Assign right side of the bed to William. Thank you. Go sleep. <laughs> um, yeah, that's your bed. Go sleep, please. Thank you. You, my dear Joan, need to take a bath. And then we're going to assign a bed to Joan Shaw, and then Joan will sleep here. And all of these names I have been getting from these this uh, WordPress that has the top 50 names from medieval ages. And so I've been just picking from the 1400s list. It's been, it's been fun. Um, I haven't necessarily been picking strictly in order. It's been more based, like, kind of in order, but then, like, what I like the most and the spellings I like the most. For example, Sybil wasn't supposed to be Sybil. She was supposed to be Sibylla. Um, but I didn't love that, and I prefer Sybil, and I think it's still era-appropriate enough that it works. I, I wasn't too worried about it. Um, 
So yeah, that's kind of what we are working with for right now. I'm not sure what else I want to show you guys. Honestly, um, I do recommend this challenge if you don't mind downloading a bunch of custom content. Um, well, I mean, you don't have to download the custom content to make it work, but I will say that uh, downloading the custom content for me is part of what makes it so much fun. I, I just think it's so much fun to have all of the stuff that looks like it, like um, custom content, 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 custom content right here, custom content, custom content, custom content. Um, the chairs are not because I'm, as you may know, the chairs got broken, but custom content, uh, custom content, uh, what else? That's custom content. Who the fuck? No, go away. You, no. Uh, the beds are custom content, which is why they have this question mark. I don't know why the question mark is there. I have all of the necessary resources and stuff. Otherwise, it wouldn't work at all. Oh, my God. What are you doing, Joan? No, Joan, go back to bed. Um, you're getting in my way. Why is my... Oh, my God. Okay. That's just how this is going to work, I guess. Okay. Um, I must have clicked the wrong bed or something. You need to eat this. Please eat this. You are an angelic child. Please behave like one. Thank you. Uh, this is cu all custom content. Like we have a chamber pot instead of a toilet. I mean, it works the same as a toilet, but it is a chamber pot. We have the sinks that are, don't look like sinks, but they, they function the way a sink is supposed to in the game. And they just add that layer of realism as well as just kind of fun. A lot of this stuff was converted from The Sims Medieval or The Sims Medieval Pirates and Nobles. And I did play that game very briefly. I didn't love it. Um, I didn't love the... I don't know just the way it was structured it was obvious if you've ever played it you, you'll know it's it's very different from any other sims game it's like it's a lot more structured in what you're doing and where you're going and like it involves kind of like quests and stuff which is fine i think i would like it more now okay you need to go help potty train beatrice thank you i think i would like it more now than i did when i was first excuse me, first playing it, but, um, at the time I didn't love it, but a lot of the stuff is from The Sims Medial, so it's, it's from a similar game, uh, by the same people, and it, even though it's not meant to be in this game, to my eye, it looks pretty good, and I am so definitely someone who prefers Maxis Match, um, uh, if you don't, if you haven't seen my videos before, uh, you could check them out, or you can just take my word for it, I definitely prefer Maxis Match, uh, there are a few times where I will use a little bit of Maxis Mitch, Mix, not Mitch, Mix, or a little bit of Alpha CC solely if what I want isn't available in anything else. Like, I mean, I would still pretty much call this Maxis Match, but there are some, some of the outfits that I have are, are definitely on the more Alpha side of things, but they're close enough for me that I can I can deal with it and they don't break me out of the game because really my problem with Mac with Alpha isn't that it's like poorly made necessarily I just it it breaks what the game looks like to me it just does not look like the game and then I'm just kind of like what's going on here guys so I just I don't love it for that reason we're gonna we're gonna fast forward through here <laughs> all right oh and it's Tuesday which is great because that means that we can roll for an aging up and I can do that while I'm still here with you guys so you guys can kind of see how it works so let me just um, let me just leave them like that and I will bring up the uh, stuff again okay so for toddler to child she cannot roll a 3, 9, 15, 17, or 19. If she rolls one of those numbers, then she dies. And so we have our handy D20 roller. So I'm just going to roll it. Just set all those names and I... Oh no, I think she dies. 
She does. Oh no. I mean, it's kind of sad to be without an antagonist, but it's fine. So we're actually, we're going to turn this black and we're going to say, Anne, did I, have I just, oh, died. And then we will go to my info panel and we'll say Anne died in 19 or 1410. Um, deceased. She was, how old are they when they turn to, okay, she was five years old. Five years. Toddler. She's my first toddler death. And let's see, what could she die from? We have choking, TB, infection, typhoid, pneumonia, disorder. Well, how about pneumonia? It's it's winter, so it's it's reasonable to think that she could have gotten pneumonia and died. That is really sad, though. Okay, sorry, Anne. I didn't like you, but yeah, and you're streaking now. You're streaking. So I won't kill her on camera. Um, I don't even know if you really can t kill toddlers, but I'll I'll just eject her from the family or something. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I I hope you like this little t snap snapshot into my decades in my medieval decades family. If you have not already, please please go ahead and like comment and subscribe to my channel um i can't guarantee you'll see these guys anytime soon i will probably maybe update once every month or something maybe once every two weeks we'll see uh, i don't know how much i'm gonna be able to play them in the next month or so because i will be doing a lot of my own things like moving and packing and uh studying for finals and getting all that good stiff stuff together but um we'll see uh, but I am still playing the Decades Challenge, the original Decades Challenge on my channel. So if you like this kind of historical content, please, please, please feel free to check that out. And I also post uh, random speed builds, speed create -a sims um, for fun videos. And uh, I'm in the process of editing a lot of them, but I'm working on posting my Nightmare Legacy Challenge that I've filmed over on my Twitch channel when I've had time to play on there, also on my YouTube channel. So if you like any legacy style gameplay, please feel free to subscribe and continue to check it out. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys next time and I hope you have a great rest of your day.